I'm, you know, I really am thrilled. You, know, you, 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 you begin making a film, and you have, you know, you, you surround yourself with the best people possible. And of course, we had Joe's wonderful words, but you never know. Um, you know, you can sometimes it can just not work out. I'm really proud of this, and think it turned out better than I could possibly imagine. Um, I think we're both incredibly ambitious for the work to make films, each one better than the last. Uh, relentless to make in, in that pursuit of excellence. Um, the film is literally wrenched from our fingertips uh, by the studio because it's got to be released. And that's what happened around three weeks ago. Um, also, I think there's a real directness. You know, we can say anything to each other and know that it's not about ego, it's only about the work. Um, but you know, when you're working with Joe's material, you really have a leg up, I mean, a huge leg up. So uh, we're very, very fortunate. I think there are several things. I think that she writes the most wonderful characters and the most wonderful scenes. She writes characters, outsiders that we all can relate to. Um, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Newt, Tina, Queenie and Jacob, they're all outsiders. Um, and in a way, I think we all are outsiders. You, me, we may be happily married in relationships, but we feel at times alone and outside. They are us. And I think that really is the essence of it. Also, she writes about themes and ideas. She writes about our world, though it's fantasy, though it's magical. At its core, it's really about our world. It's about tolerance and intolerance. It's about a world divided. It's about conservationist in Newt. These are our issues. This is our world. These characters are us. I think that's why it resonates in the way it does. But no, it felt very similar. You know, it's Joe's world, working with a lot of the same people. It was a great, it was a great thing to be a part of. It's set in America in a time where the wizarding world um, is, it, this is not entirely harmonious and where there is a need upon the wizards to remain in secret because uh, the risk of exposure of the magical world is filled with threat. So Newt arrives in Manhattan or in New York, at Ellis Island effectively, um, to, a, to a world that's less welcoming than, say, Hogwarts 70 years later. Well, you know, just as with all Joe's work, you know, there's comedy, there's drama, there's adventure, there's romance, there's melancholy. Um, you laugh a lot, and all of that can happen and change within a on a dime or in, 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 within, from scene to scene. It's an amazing thing, and I think David Yates has done the most incredible job managing this variety of tone and creating a film that I think will appeal to all. What I love also is I think that um, I think Harry Potter fans will enjoy it, but I actually think it's a story that you can watch without a single, having watched a single frame of a Harry Potter or read a single word of a Harry Potter book. Well, the, you know, at the beginning now, we, we, we can see a little bit of connection with the Harry Potter world. Newt, of course, he wrote the, the textbook um, that was studied at, 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 at Hogwarts. Um, and, and, you know, there are names that mentioned certain characters that we see later on appear. But as the story is developed, as the films develop, I think that connective tissue um, will become more explicit. So as the series develop, I think you'll be, that, that connective tissue to the Harry Potter will become very clear and I think will become very exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey, you guys!